Hello, welcome back. It's Monday morning. I'm in severe pain with toothache. I chewed into a peanut and it was a lot harder than I was expecting. Oh, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday night, virtually no sleep. Got through to the doc dentist this morning, so I'm on my way there now and I'm really hoping they can sort this out because it's intense. Well, a spot of bad luck, unfortunately, that peanut managed to crack my uh, back molar and unfortunately the only resolve was to take it out so it's been removed and I've got a tissue in there at a minute to stop the blood anyway uh, I bought myself a nice soft sponge cake because that's about all I can eat today so uh, I need to catch up on some sleep I think I've had about four hours since Friday night and it is now Monday so I'll recover and carry on tomorrow ho oh, um. So I've been back a couple of hours. It's been on off raining today. The injection now is starting to wear off. Boom, 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 boom. Um, I can't believe I actually took this back as a souvenir, my tooth with blood on it. Anyway, that'll end up in the bin in a bit. Uh, I'm around the back here because I want to continue with the well while we've got a little break in the rain. Might as well make myself useful for the afternoons. It's not worth going back to the village house till tomorrow. All this stuff here I've been collecting up over the last couple of years and it obviously all needs to go away. I can use some of it on the front wall to fill in areas, but right now the priority is the well and where I put the stones around the outside, I can start building it up using that lot, clear this area and hopefully look a little bit smarter. There's also loads and loads of old bits of brick that were pulled up when we were, had the digger down there. So I can go around that area and just chuck in as much as possible, clear it all out. So it'll be nice to see this area smartened up a little bit at least. Right. <clears throat> Right, start filling it up, picking up all of the loose bricks. So we've got quite a lot in there. I'll come back and carry on during the course of the week. In the meantime, getting a little bit later in the day, although the sun has come out, it is time for Will's Dindins. So we'll carry on in the morning. Insulation. Oh, this is going to be really exciting going forward now. All the beams are up and we're going to start putting the plasterboard in place. Starting where James is over there on the horizontal section, we're going to do the upright first and work away in that direction. We've kind of worked out where we're going to put all the plug sockets and so on. Now we've just got to run all the conduits and be careful that we don't board up and block our access. And hopefully in the next couple of days, this will start to transform more.
tool belt at the ready. Nothing to put in it just yet, but I'm sure we'll find a few screws. We've got to put a couple of vertical pieces of wood in there just to support the joins of where the plasterboard we've just put in. And then we can continue with the rest of it. Left side is a bit more to the left. <laughs> yeah, like that. Push it a bit more. Yeah, so it's ramped and then I can back it down. There we Well, good to get that one out of the way. What a massive difference that makes. So that's the first section. We've now got this bit to do, and half of that's gonna be easy because we're working directly off of the mezzanine floor. So we can use that um, scaffolding for the plasterboard. I can't remember the name of it. And then in here, we'll be using that same machine. So it should be a lot easier. Wow. Way. 
So what you got to say about that? Gotcha. Well, it's a little bit fiddly, first couple of uses, but brushing off the cobwebs. <laughs> it's definitely a lot easier than holding it up, that's for sure. At least down there, we can use this all the way through, so it should be a lot quicker, but. Cool, cool. Yeah, we've still got to go over by the glass window over there, which is unfortunately I scaffolding. I think this bit here is going to be a bit of yeah. that bit. Yeah. That board up there. Yeah, we've basically just done the two easiest bits and made it look difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I always let Will choose where he wants to go for a walk. But I must admit, I think he chose a real difficult one today because you can't see it through the camera. That is incredibly steep. We're not halfway up yet. It's amazing how quickly the blood rushes out of your arms when you're uh, holding plasterboard above your head. And being up the scaffolding as well. Wow, that whole back section was really tricky. But we have got it out of the way now. Tomorrow, that leaves us just with the front area. And I'm really hoping we can do all that tomorrow. Now, of course, I can't continue with the well because we've only got about half an hour of daylight left. So I think I'll leave it until Saturday, Saturday morning and carry on with it then. So we can concentrate solely on the ceilings tomorrow. Anyway, oh, I've got to carry on up here. I think I'll definitely deserve a beer when I get home. Early night, fresh start tomorrow. We'll get it all sorted. Oh, wow. That's this area cleared out now, ready to put the plasterboard up. I've got a little bit of wood going across there. That's going to support the center light and all the conduits James is putting here running across the ceiling. That's going to be for all the plug sockets and the lights. And of course, in this area, we've got a load of them in. Still more to go up, but everything's going to be fed from this area going through the ceilings into the mezzanine, down into the kitchen, into the lounge, and obviously all the areas I'm standing in here. We need to make sure that everything is exactly where it needs to be before we put the ceilings up. We also have to bear in mind that there's gonna be a wall across here with a doorway in it going into the bathroom. And we're gonna have a wall going up from the side of the stairs and the back of the steps there. And obviously that means we need to support them from the ceiling area, which means we need to put some battens across onto the beams and make sure that they're all exactly where they need to be and we triple check everything before we put the boards up. I've also noticed, because I never spend any time in that room, that there's a little bit of damage on the ceiling that I need to repair. <laughs> yeah, that's turned out to be quite a lot bigger than I was anticipating. I've been tapping away all over the ceiling here and that is the only section that's been a little bit loose, so I've taken down where necessary. And of course, I'm now gonna to have to fill that in. It's one of those things when you're renovating an old house, you're gonna come across things that you didn't anticipate and so on. So we made sure that we put that into our uh, time frame doing this house. And unfortunately, because I wanted to get the boards up really quickly, um, you can't rush it, I've got to fix that. I need to wait for James to come back and take the beam down and I can carry on with it. And then, um, yeah. We're going to be plasterboarding over the entire lot here. And of course, we need to tap around everywhere. We've already done it in the rest of the house. This is the one room we haven't spent any time in, so it's such a pain. Anything that's going to be loose, we've taken off and we need to fill back in. And of course, it's so easy because I know a lot of people do it. It's just too out of sight, out of mind, board over the top and not worry about it. But I don't like doing that. I want to make sure this house is good in the world. We will get all these up soon and uh, it'll all be a distant memory. <laughs>
I'm sure I read that it was going to be a nice day today. Very grey, which doesn't help because we've only got the one light bulb. Saturday morning and I wanted to come back here and just check that the ceiling hadn't fallen down. <laughs> Of course it hasn't. Um, it's going to dry nicely by Monday. We can continue putting the boards up. Uh, didn't need to worry too much about the aesthetics, obviously, because you're not going to see it as long as it does what it's supposed to do. So still up there. Good, good. James yesterday also continued with the conduits. We've got everything in place there. At the end of the day, we did just run through it and make sure that uh, it's all where it's supposed to be. And James has labelled them all, which is going to be very handy. Next week, our plan. Right, next week. We're gonna obviously get as many of these boards up as possible, not just the ceiling, but on the walls. James has put these up here, and that's following the line down of the stairwell. And so next week, we wanna get that boarded up, which is gonna be really nice, not just for us, but I think for those of you that were a little bit confused with the layout, it will become totally obvious because you've got the bedroom, the hallway, the bathroom, and of course, that stairwell going up into the mezzanine. And that's gonna be very clear by the end of next week. It's just gonna be nice to see some of the walls in that matte flat gray that we've done the ceiling in the other room, just to get away from all the patchy stuff and it will start to transform. Anyway, I'm gonna dash back now because I don't know if we've got any rain or not coming, but I wanna get on with that well and do a little bit today as much as possible and then continue with it um, today, sorry, and continue with it tomorrow. And hopefully, Hopefully by the end of next week, I can get that done. So, um, got a dash. Big thanks goes out to Phil, the winner of the Rio Link camera. Really nice to know that someone actually does receive these things and there are winners. So I really appreciate you sending that through in a green to allow me to put it on my video. Next one hopefully will be in a few weeks time. Keep your eyes open for that. That camera, by the way, sells for around 200 euros. They're not throwaway ones. Don't know what the next thing will be. I'll have a think about it. Hello. My mission for today was to put some stones around the inside area all the way around and I managed to do that. You can see I've left a little lip going around there. My plan is, I think I can find someone who can bend me some metal into that shape, a circle, and then I'm gonna weld the rest of it together and that will be my cover going over the top and it can sit lower down onto that. So this wall here is just the starting point. The ring itself is about I think it's half a meter, 50 centimeters. So I'm probably gonna come up that same height with the stones. That's gonna make this well quite high, but I wanna make sure 
that I'm leaving myself plenty of room because of the bank on this side. Where I'm standing, it's obviously going to be quite high. I'm going to have a little platform over there, seating area. That'll hold the pump. And I think that's going to look really nice. So I've only managed to get a few hours in today and it's starting to take shape. Some of those stones aren't fixed in, but all the ones around the inside are. And I'm pretty confident tomorrow I can get up to the height. It's really fiddly at the moment because all the stones are random. They're not ideal. So I'm having to run around and pick and choose and push aside and so on. But I reckon if I can get the bulk of that done tomorrow, then over the course of the week, I can find some flat ones from somewhere to give me a nice top. But I'm really enjoying doing that. And I think although at the moment it looks a bit higgledy piggledy, it will start to piece together and look really nice. Hello. Right, Will and I, we're gonna leave you now. We'll carry on tomorrow and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, turned out really nice, blue sky. Right, thanks a lot for watching. See you next week. Take care, bye-bye.